Hi, in this video we will see how to run CUDA code within Google Colab. My name is Abhishek Nandi and I would be walking you through the steps itself. Okay, so first of all we need to have a Google Colab account that uh, you can already have from Google itself. You can have it uh, for free itself. Right now I am here at the googlecolab.research.google.com I'll just click on a new notebook. So what will happen is like it will open up a new notebook for me. It will take some time to pull up. We'll just wait for it. Now in the runtime option, first of all we need to go to change runtime type. Uh, we'll just take at T4 GPU or say you can also uh, just check for T4 GPU I've just uh, checked in now I'll just click on save now what it would do is that it would uh, add me to the GPU runtime and if I just click connect right now it would just allocate me a space on the GPU to run this program itself okay now why we are doing ex this exercise as you might be thinking that uh, we run Python codes we run uh, other codes over here but how to run a CUDA code on a GPU that is a free GPU that you have uh, to check out uh, the CUDA codes that you are working on okay so first of all what we did was we uh, verified the we enabled the GPU runtime so NVCC is a very important part because it's a compiler from NVIDIA which allows us to see or run uh, the what you can say that uh, uh, the steps that are needed for us to compile a CUDA code in a Google Colab. Okay, so we'll check for the version of it. Okay, so this is the command. Let me just use it. NVCC. I guess it's dash version space space dash dash version so if I run this currently it shows me the CUDA compiler driver that's present over here and build with the exact tools that are needed okay so in the next step what we do is that uh, over here you see like we have to start writing the code so what we are trying to achieve over here we are doing a simple a basic parallel vector addition uh, using CUDA on a GPU. It takes two input arrays A and B and calculates element Y sum storing the results in the another, um, another output array that is uh, you can say C itself. Okay. So let's check this code. I have the code handy with me. I'll just copy it along okay I have to just keep it right now one important factor as you use this magic code write file vector add dot cu so any CUDA file that you are writing should be ending with dot cu extension okay and uh, there are magic lines that are needed for you to run the code on Google Colab so write file righty adds this entire code block into the Google Colab itself so let's do that okay so it's being added now if you can look at the program itself first of all it has included the input streams that are needed for us to get the, the, those input files ready now after that you are using this global underscore void add uh, uh, add function that's there it's a CUDA kernel function that executes on GPU. It takes two pointers A and B and output array C that is also a pointer and with a uh, array size of N itself. Okay. It calculates I for current thread based on its thread ID dot ID dot uh, ID ID X dot X on onto the block block id that is the block index of the grid itself if i is within the range of the array that is i less than n it adds the 
corresponding element of A and B, storing the result in C itself. Okay. So if you move to the main function, this main function runs in the host itself. But if you if you consider this point as inter uh, uh, in star A, in star B, in star C, these are also devised host memory pointers for the arrays. But as you move on to device arrays, these are that uh, uh, d underscore a, d underscore b, d underscore c declares uh, device GPU memory pointers for the array. Now we use two particular operations for memory that is CUDA malloc host and CUDA malloc that is uh, you can see over here. So CUDA malloc host what it does is that it allows to uh, memory to be allocated for A, B and C and if you are considering it for underscore A, D underscore A, D underscore B and D underscore C we are using calloc um, that is the calloc uh, uh, CUDA malloc C okay so that is how it goes now we initialize the array we copy the array values that are there to device so if you want to have the arrays replicated to a device itself so we have to copy it so it is doing the step now we are here um, launching the configuration of a kernel where each block is of size 256 and with this three arrows signs that you see we are initializing the kernel we copy the result back to the host that is we are returning it to the host itself and finally we free the memory itself okay so this part has been uh, done we have added the values to the uh, the, um, the, uh, the host itself now what we need to do is that uh, already the code part is uh, covered now we have to compile this particular uh, uh, code that we have written okay so for compiling itself uh, we have to use nvcc that is the compiler that we are that we have already mentioned so we'll just copy it along and here you see like when you are using this vector addition the output is vector underscore add okay now just wait for it now it's being added the vector has been added now the next thing is uh, what we need to do is run our compiled code so for running the compiled code we have to initialize it using this operator that is the uh, the exclamatory marks followed by dot and the uh, output that's being generated in our case it's vector underscore add that is there we need to just key in that okay now if i just add it you'll see uh, the vector addition has been performed okay and voila you have done your first cuda code on the google collab thank you for your effort and the time to watch the video and probably with this we would be doing much more of application oriented programming in um, uh, on the Google Colab, probably with in terms of PyTorch and other application, you will see Open Vino applications also coming in over over here. So that's a start. Thank you for watching.